December 17, 2019, Tuesday of the third week of Advent. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts, who would dare rouse him. The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The Word of the Lord The Responsorial Psalm The response is, Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace, till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab. Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon. Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David, the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat the father of Joram. Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham the father of Ahaz. Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh the father of Amos. Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel. Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel the father of Abiud. Abiud became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim the father of Azor. Azor the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Achim, Achim the father of Eliud, Eliud the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan, Mathan the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, 
who is called the Christ. Thus the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. This is Catholic Daily Reflections for December 17th. Today's reflection is entitled, The Perfect Plan of God. Eleazar became the father of Mathen, Mathen the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. We begin today an octave of immediate preparation for the birth of Christ. After this octave, we enter into the glorious solemnity of Christmas. On this day, we are presented with the long genealogy of Jesus' ancestors. Verses 2-16 to of chapter 1 of Matthew's Gospel present us with three series of 14 ancestors. Abraham begins the genealogy and Jesus concludes it. Though there are many interesting facts that a scripture scholar could take from this genealogy and all who are named in it, the heart and soul of its meaning is found in verse 1. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. This shows the direct link from the promise God made to Abraham to its fulfillment in the person of the Son of God. One thing we see in the fulfillment of this promise is the fact that God is faithful. True, it took centuries for his promise to Abraham to be fulfilled, but it happened nonetheless, and there is little doubt that Abraham rejoiced greatly as he witnessed the glorious birth of one of his descendants as the Savior of the world. This also tells us that God's timing and his ways are often different than what we may at first conceive. We come up with many good ideas and hope they will come to pass. But all too often, when they do not turn out immediately as we had hoped for, we can get discouraged. Learn the lesson today of God's perfect long-term plan. He knows what he is doing and he is bringing about his plan for us all. He is slowly and intentionally guiding us along the path that leads to salvation and peace. It may not be the way we would do things, but it is the perfect way. Reflect today upon the plan God has for your life. Does he call you to patience and long-suffering? Does he require a trust that is demanding and absolute? Does he require a surrender of your own ideas and your own ambitions? Yes, he requires all of this and more. Recommit yourself to the perfect plan in the heart of our Father in heaven, and he will guide you each step of the way. Let us pray. Lord, I know your ways are perfect and that your plans are so often not my own. Help me to let go of my own ideas and desires and to surrender more deeply in trust to all that you have prepared for me. Lord, your wisdom is perfect. Help me to believe that with all my heart. Jesus, I trust in you.